Scorpio, cross watchers, welcome to Shea C. Tarot. For those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I appreciate you being here very much and I can't wait to get into our reading. I say ours because for those of you that are unfamiliar, I'm a Scorpio sun, Cancer moon, a Libra rising, and a um, Sagittarius Venus. So let's get started. So for those of you that have a significant other or a crush or somebody you're thinking about, I meditate on your deck here and your love interests right here but I do want to say this can be somebody in your future for those of you that are single I'm going to read it in terms of a general reading so take what resonates leave what doesn't okay you're all going to be on your path at different times this can be all of your energy all of whomever you're thinking about this can even be a brother a mother a sister a father a friend a lover an ex um future spouse whatever you're hoping and wishing for so just keep that in mind and it could be all you so let's go ahead and get started i've already meditated on your cards for those of you that are unfamiliar with our channel here um my girls and i give away free each month healing stone bracelet giveaway so if you want to get in on that definitely check that in the comment section below i will pin it as well as in the description box everything you need to know is there all we ask you do is subscribe which is absolutely free to the channel hit the like button notification bell so you'll be notified if you're one of the lucky winners and check out the facebook page i'm mostly on there as well as on instagram but mostly facebook if you like the page that definitely helps you get in on the free bracelet giveaway you can look at the former giveaway uh, announcements there as well if that will be available at the end of your reading okay you can see how it's done all right Scorpio I know we're so anxious to get into it what are the messages for Scorpio please Sun Moon rising and Venus for July oh my gosh they're wanting to jump out you know I did a reading earlier for Leo and they just honest to God they just kept flying out everywhere so let's go ahead <laughs> and they're doing it again so let's see what's going on Wow Scorpio Ooh, three of pentacles and we have the knight of swords so something could be happening quickly here but this can also be that now sometimes a knight of swords this is somebody who's a thinker somebody who wants to react quite brashly quite quickly this can signify air energy gemini libra aquarius taurus capricorn and virgo we have here but this can also indicate somebody who is um like an attorney it can be um, somebody's taking quick action here um, there's collaboration there's teamwork it's a group of people it can be in business it can be to do with um, um, you know legal counsel it can be but it's somebody who could be very competitive right now wanting to win um, at all costs it can be competitiveness perhaps for a job or a business Ooh, could be let's keep going here we're going to check out your person's energy. Remember, this can crisscross over, be vice versa. This can be all your energy. What are the messages for Scorpio? Um, their person of interest to whoever is on Scorpio's mind, please can be somebody in your future. What are the messages for Scorpio? Wow, they're coming out in twos. I wonder if that means anything significant. Wow, Scorpio, there you are. Okay, we've got Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. So this is somebody who's an authority, an emperor type of person. Interesting, Scorpio. You know what? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, wow, this is almost like somebody wants to rush in towards you. They're thinking really fast. They're planning. They're planning something. It's like, I want to work with Scorpio. I want to build a foundation with Scorpio. It's like somebody's in a hurry. Um, that can be you. You could be taking on the emperor energy. You could be. But this could also be a fatherly type of figure. Somebody who's an authority or, you know, a figure that is quite high up. It can be a CEO of a company. It's somebody who likes to plan. Okay. Somebody who can be quite brash and controlling. Be careful. Um, this can be, you know, it, it's it's somebody who's likes control likes order like structure somebody who's an authority interesting and there you are in your own reading or you could be dealing with another water sign but it's it's like we've got to dig deep scorpio this is different than our last read it is wow jumping out and i didn't even get to ask anything <gasps> what was i saying about controlling be careful there could be a capricorn um who's of significance but this can also be that brash energy like i said this could be somebody like demanding 
something. It can be a Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody who is possibly an authority figure or a father figure or somebody that is very toxic or unhealthy around you that's very controlling if it's not you it's around your person whoever you're thinking about it's somebody that they're 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 not um in the best frame of mind here because i see a very unhealthy energy here controlling fighting going on a rampage almost just be careful i don't know if this is in your energy or your love interest energy or your family um you know the devil can be a toxic person placing person place or thing it's can be an addiction but i'm not seeing that here i'm not feeling that at all i'm feeling like there's a very harsh energy here who's going into battle and is uh really in control feisty fiery just in a almost like a rampage here now it can be with a group of people it can be something to do with business it can be something to do with a battle of some sort wow let's i want to clarify that knight of swords let me know what's going on scorpios in the comment section what is going on with this knight of swords o m g we've got the emperor again okay it's like there's there's okay this can be the same person or it can be that two people are butting heads here in a battle and it's very toxic it can be over you scorpio or another water sign or uh capricorn taurus virgo aries taurus wow omg we've got the king of cups now interesting so we've got like a couple here a very loving, nurturing couple here. It could be that you're butting heads with your counterpart. Counterpart meaning this person is on your level. We've got completion here. So I don't know if you've just completed a very difficult cycle with a Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, again, Capricorn, whoever it is. It's like you're on the same level. You it's like there's a lot of love there king and queen of cups is very nurturing loving warm highly intuitive couple possibly spiritually connected here too you're on the same level you're like each other is half here but i'm seeing a very brash energy i feel that they may want to rush in towards you there may have been a completion here they may be coming back round scorpio here this is karmic lessons being learned this is that you know, there's a completion and it's successfully completed either between the two of you or this emperor person. It's it's like you're both mirroring each other. You're both the emperor. You're both on the same level. But I feel like they want to rush in towards you here. But be careful that they're not bringing in this harsh energy. I haven't felt this before in our previous readings. It's like they want to talk to you. They might speak quickly, abruptly. Um, it's, hmm, yeah, we're going to need to dig on this one, but it's like they want to, they've either talked to others about you and now they're rushing in or they want to work together with you. What the heck is going on, Scorpio? Let's clarify the emperor on this side. Why is the emperor? Oh, wow. They're dropping out. Hermit and the king of pentacles. Interesting. Okay, so it's it's like this could be a Taurus or an Aries, strong earth and fire. They may have taken a long time to kind of contemplate and think about you because you're in their thoughts here. I feel like they realize that they can have stability with you or you're doing really well, Scorpio, or this is their energy. And they're like really thinking, they took the time to really think about you and now they want to come back around. Let's keep going. Why is the King of Pentacles here for Scorpio, please? Holy, what was I saying, Scorpio? They are absolutely flying out. It's just blowing my mind today. Yeah, look at that. They've had time to kind of chill out and relax. Well, good for them, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, but we don't get time to do this, do we, Scorpio? Do we get time to do that? No. Anyways, the Four of Swords. This is somebody that has been through the battle, that who's been through a tough time. And they just wanted to chill out. I feel like this emperor, 
whoever this is for you, a king of pentacles, it could be the same person. This is somebody who is normally married, grounded. Um, I feel that this is somebody that is already in a long-term situation. I feel like there's some toxic energy here. Just be careful because it's like this person's had time to retreat and think about you and they want to come back around to you. They've completed some lessons. Now, usually this means once you've completed these karmic lessons, you come back around again and it's like you're being gifted by the universe to have a new beginning. Um, so this could be that they've had this realization and now they're obsessing about rushing in towards you and talking to others about how to come in towards you. It could be that they've had time to really think about things, especially if you haven't heard from this person for a while. That's what it seems like, but let's keep digging. Wow, this is harsh. I'm going to get the mutual energies in a minute. Now, for those of you this resonates for, fantastic. Don't Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really helps other people. Boy, they're jumping. I don't get a chance to ask anything and they're jumping. You know what? I'm going to put those back. I didn't like the way those dropped out though. Uh, hit the thumbs up because it really does help others to hear the messages. And if it's helping you, we definitely want to help others. And definitely uh, help others as well, Scorpio Cross Watchers, by putting comments down below about the progress you've been making. Either whether it's a new job, um, you know, an inheritance or a family member you finally hash things out with, a new relationship you heard from your person, whatever it is, it helps the rest of us, okay? It gives us encouragement. There we go, Page of Wands. Yeah, look at that, Scorpio. Somebody wants to rush in fast towards you now and talk to you. They're very passionate. This person is absolutely fired up and gung-ho. And I feel could be talking to others on about how to rush into you and give you this news. How can I do this? Because I feel like they're still in a commitment, but they could be actually speaking to uh, legal counsel and trying to figure out how to rush in towards you. It's like they've had time to think about it and now they want to come back around to you. And they, uh, you know, they're very enthusiastic. They want to take a risk and they want to rush in towards you and give you this message. And they're like, you know, excuse me, but they're hell bent on doing it. This is what I'm seeing here. Okay. It, it's, it's like they just, they had time to think and now poof, here they are. Wow, Scorpio. Let's see the mutual energies. This is different than what I've been seeing. But you both have the emperor here. But like I said, it could be all your energy, all their energy. I'm feeling this is their energy and they're thinking about you and they are really... They've had time to think about it and they feel that they can have long-term stability and success with you. And now all of a sudden they just, it's like they're obsessive about wanting to rush in. Okay. But it could be just that they're so excited and they are so happy about a completion here. So they may have been in a marriage and just recently completed some lessons or, um, there's a cycle here that they've completed. So they may have just closed out a long-term commitment like just or in the near future. Definitely. And it's like they're heading toward success and now they want to come back around to you. And they're excited, like almost obsessively excited. And they're on fire. Wow, that's what I'm kind of seeing. Okay, Scorpio and whomever they're thinking about, what are the mutual energies, please? What are the mutual energies? And we've got the king and queen of cups here. So this leads me to believe that there may have been another water sign involved, but I'm more like feeling like emperor, emperor, king and queen of cups. It's This is a very loving, nurturing couple. I feel like that you are highly intuitive and deeply connected and, and have a lot of love for each other. Like you're on the same level. That's what I'm feeling. What are the messages here, please? for Scorpio and whomever they're thinking about. What are the mutual energies, please, for July 2020? What are the messages? How are they both mutually feeling about one another, please, spirits? What are the messages? Resistance. Okay, so there may have been resistance before because I feel like somebody was definitely in a commitment here. And now I feel like they've had this realization or this completion in their life. And now they're coming back around. You may be at a distance from them as well. And this could be a Leo, a Taurus, Aquarius, or another Scorpio. Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Uh, we've also got Virgo energy here. 
there may have been resistance before because again this person was already in a commitment or you are but i'm feeling it's them wow there's a lot of love here they were resisting you were resisting each other the love this bond um, but i feel like you're on the same level wow one more please we're going to do a lot of clarification in the extended for those of you that are brand new i just want to let you know that it's usually over 20 25 minutes for the extended but i will dig a lot deeper so if this is resonating for you definitely want to take advantage of that i'm going to dig a lot deeper i'm going to use the same decks but i'm also going to use the traditional as well okay and i'm going to use my vintage deck these are 50 years old so we're going to dig deep with those as well and for those of you that feel like you're on your twin flame journey i'm going to pull some twin flame energy cards i also want to pull a couple of mystic moons actually right now oracle cards let's just see what's going on for scorpio please for july 2020 what are the messages for scorpio what are the messages for scorpio contemplation okay so somebody was in retreat mode they were contemplating they were trying to figure things out here possibly talking to others scorpio this is what i'm seeing they've been in deep thought for a while so if you haven't heard from your person whoever you're thinking about and they were resisting this change i feel like they're closing out this cycle and now they are rushing in to come and talk to you abandoned yeah see they feel like they abandoned you or they did abandon you and they've had time to think about it now Wow, yeah, see? But they may have needed healing time. If they're closing out a chapter in their life, which is what the world card is, this is them coming back around again to you now. And it's it's about, you know, it's success in completing something in their life. And I feel like it's getting rid of toxic behavior, possibly. Again, we're going to dig a lot deeper. We're going to find out what's going on. And I definitely... For those of you that are interested and want to check it out, I'm going to pull some of the tarot sexual magic. We're going to see how your person feels about you um, intimately, okay? So if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. I'm going to pull one more mutual energy and then we can head over to Vimeo. What are the mutual energies, please? Oh, wow. They just drop in out like flies. Marriage, tradition, commitment. So see what I was saying? They see future stability and marriage material with you, vice versa. They have a lot of emotion for you. I feel like there's a lot of love here and I feel they're very excited. So it, it may just be that they are just overzealous, like they are very excited about coming in towards you now that this is completion wow see communicate they want to communicate scorpio they do they want to message you i say expect a message or they might suddenly show up on your doorstep but whatever it is they are trying to um come in towards you is what i'm feeling but we will double check i thank you so much for being here i appreciate you also very much Thank you for the donations. Thank you so much. And I appreciate and love every one of you for all the support you've given us. My girls and I truly appreciate it. Okay. And the bracelet giveaway is in a couple of days. So if you're interested, check that out. Here's a quick little peek. And again, it's free to you. There's absolutely no catch whatsoever. It's uh, We give away three each month. And I, it's my therapy, actually, to make them. So with that being said, for those of you seeing me in a few days, I will see you soon. And for those of you meeting me on Vimeo for the continuation. I will be right there. Namaste.